Welcome back everyone. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to cook a sirloin steak, and then later in the video, I'm gonna show you how to make a bone marrow, chive, and blue cheese butter to go with it. All right, so to get started, we wanna get some lump charcoal or briquettes on. So we'll open up our barbecue, take our cooking grate off, get a couple of fire lighters going, get our charcoal chimney on top, and fill that up. Now it's not a big long cook we're doing today, so I'm happy to just half fill our charcoal chimney. So we'll give those 10 to 15 minutes to catch light properly, and then we'll come back. All right, so while our briquettes are catching light, we're gonna season our meat. We've got our marrow bone and our sirloin, which we both picked up from Austral Meat. We're gonna give our marrow bone a light coat in our garlic goals, just on that marrow side, just like so. And then we're gonna use beef bounce on the steak. And I just want to point out the beautiful quality on that sirloin. Nice marbling in there, no trimming needed. That's a beautiful steak. So now what we're going to do is we'll let these sit while our briquettes catch light and then we'll come back to get them on. All right, so our briquettes are pretty much ready. So we're going to dump them in on this front side, which is opposite to the lid vent. Just make sure they're in a nice neat pile. Then we'll shut our lid, make sure our top and bottom vents are wide open and give our barbecue a few minutes to preheat. All right, now our barbecue is up to temperature, which is at about 400 Fahrenheit or 200 Celsius. We'll open our lid. We've got a nice little chunk of cherry. I'll get straight on the fire. Then we'll get our cooking grate on, then our marrow bone and our steak just behind that. And now we'll shut our lid and we'll come back to check on it once I've had about 20 minutes in the barbecue. So with that steak being around an inch in thickness, you could either direct grill or reverse sear like we're doing today. So for this steak we're doing today, I'm gonna to take it until it reaches an internal temperature of around 49 degrees Celsius or 120 Fahrenheit. And for that marrow bone, all I'm gonna be looking for is some nice color and for that marrow to have softened up so we can scoop it out. So while our steak and marrow bone cook away, we're gonna get started on this butter. All right, so it's quite simple. We've got a 250 gram stick of butter, which is just at room temperature, so it's nice and soft. I've got some blue cheese. This is around 75 grams worth. We're just gonna break that into small pieces and put it into our bowl. And then we just wanna add around two tablespoons worth of finely chopped chives. And now we'll set that aside until this marrow bone's done. All right, so it's been just shy of 20 minutes. That marrow bone is looking really good. That marrow is nice and soft. Internal temperature of our steak is very close. So I'm happy to get that marrow bone out. We'll put our marrow bone aside for a couple of minutes while this steak just continues to climb up to that temperature. That'll only take a couple more minutes, then we'll get that out to rest while we finish this butter off. All right, now our steak has hit temperature. We'll get that out, get it in some foil and we'll let that rest for a good 10 to 15 minutes before we finish it off with a sear. All right, now we wanna get two good tablespoons worth of that beautiful marrow in there. And then we quite simply just wanna mix that all together. And once it's all mixed through, have a taste, adjust it to your liking, add some pepper in there if you want, some more salt, but I am happy with that. So what I'm gonna do is just get some cling wrap out. We're gonna dump our butter in the middle of that. Just gonna kinda mold it so it's nice and tight. Fold that cling wrap over, roll it through, twist it so it's nice and tight. And then we're just gonna put that back in the fridge for 15 minutes or so, just so it firms up. And then we'll come back to use it once this steak's done. All right, so our steak has rested nicely. I'm just gonna hit it on that fat side. I'm just using an upside down grill grate for the sear, but if you wanna go direct over the coals or briquettes, feel free to. And then we'll give it a sear for about a minute each side. Have a look at that beautiful color. All right, now we'll get it off to slice and serve it. All right, and then we'll put a nice chunk of that butter straight on the steak. We'll let that melt for a couple of minutes, then we'll come back, slice, serve it, and have a taste. All right, this butter has melted nicely. Let's slice this steak up. Look at that, cooked absolutely perfect. Wow, that is just phenomenal. Seriously, on its own, that steak is already amazing. And then you add that butter and it's just mind blowing. You guys seriously have to try that one. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. But for now, that's the end of the video. I'm gonna go eat the rest of that off camera because it's so good. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.